Hi, let us explore 3D experience platform for performing aerodynamic analysis. All we need to do is just log on to the 3D experience platform and launch the fluid dynamics engineer role. Basically, this role is for engineers who performs routine fluid dynamic calculations under steady state flow conditions. And this also provides as a guide to perform any design modifications in the later stage. Once the app is open, we have to go to the import option and import the geometry. So the geometries can be imported in terms of SOLIDWORKS part file, assembly file, CATIA files, etc. So once it is done, then the important uh, parameter is to set up the model. So under model setup, we do have something called as uh, include external analysis, any heat transfer is included in the same one and then apply the fluid materials also. And we can define what are the bounding parts and what is the bounding box for an external analysis. And we'll be selecting the regions in order to request some outputs in the later part of the analysis. So once it is done, then we can go to the visibility manager, which helps us in identifying and visualizing the bounding box and the boundary conditions, mesh parts, etc. So next is to apply the physics. So in the physics, we are going with the steady state step that has been defined and now we'll just see the step details. So the maximum number of iterations are to be 2000 and then we are keeping rest of the things to be defaults. The next step is to set up the boundary conditions. Under boundary conditions, we will be setting up a pressure outlet and the velocity inlets. Along with that, there is something called as feature manager where we will be able to see what exactly has been set up till now. So here we can see the pressure outlet and the velocity inlets. So in order to visualize them, what we have to do is we have to switch to our uh, visibility manager. Under visibility manager, there is something called as analysis case where we can enable all the hidden parts. So once we see them here, we can see the velocity inlet and the pressure outlet, which are represented in different colors. So once the boundary conditions are set, then next it is to go to the mesh. So in order to do the mesh, what we have to do is we have to go to the mesh part manager under mesh part manager, just define what type of mesh we are doing it. In this particular case, it's going to be our hex mesh and we are defining the size. Here we can see there are approximately 19 lakh elements that have been obtained in the fluid domain. So once the meshing is done, once again, visibility manager to analyze the mesh. So enable under the FEA model nodes and elements. Here we can see, since it's a external analysis domain, the body is submerged into the fluid domain. So we can go to something called as uh, sectioning under display options. So in the sectioning, we will be able to have something cut sections in X axis. Here we can see the boundary layers that has been built of, at the interface of solid and the fluid region. We can see at the wings on either sides. So once the verification is done, we just have to close the sectioning and then switch back to our visibility manager in order to hide the mesh modeling. So once we do that, then the next step is to simulate. So under simulate, we have multiple options where you can do the simulation checks, model scenario checks under simulate. You can have, you can make use of cloud computation. So once the simulation is done, then we have results. So where we can see the gauge pressure, velocity vectors, velocity and absolute pressure if there are any bad elements indicator also and in order to probe the values you just have to over your mouse onto the uh, mechanical component and it will automatically show you what exactly is the result and if you go to future manager once again uh, we can create something called as sensors so under sensors tab here you can see there is some already predefined axial force normal force these are nothing but our uh, drag and lift forces so once we go to the how to create a sensor is basically pretty simple. So you just have to create the force component and the vector component and an output request. And how what are the parameters? Where do you want to exactly measure? Is it at the last iteration or the minimum and maximum throughout the iterations? This is how we define sensors and this is little bit onto the post processing of. To summarize the video, what we have seen, it's an accelerated product development with freedom to innovate at the earlier stages itself without any physical model requirement. And it's an end to end solution with CAD, PLM embedded into the CFD solver in 3D experience platform. And it's highly validated and produces accurate physical results. It's seamless multi-physics, multi-scale model, which can be utilized along with the structural 
uh, simulations available in 3D experience platform 